For the first time, researchers have succeeded in partially restoring the vision of mice suffering from a glaucoma-like condition. The scientists have found a way to regenerate severed optic nerve cables and re-establish their connections with the brain, allowing the once blind mice to see. Glaucoma affects nearly 70 million people worldwide, and so far, there is no cure. But, researchers say this breakthrough could now pave the way for the development of future treatments for humans. In the groundbreaking study led by a researcher from Stanford University School of Medicine, the team attempted to regrow the eye-to-brain connections of mice with a condition similar to glaucoma. In humans, this is a result of excessive pressure on the optic nerve. Mammalian axons in the brain, including the retina, and spinal cord, which act like electrical wires, connecting to other nerve cells to provide visual information, do not regenerate once they're damaged. This means that permanent vision loss occurs if the retinal ganglion cells' axons are harmed. But, those located outside the central nervous system do have this ability. More than a third of the human brain is dedicated to the processing of visual information. Over two dozen brain areas get direct signals from retinal ganglion cells, said Andrew Huberman, Ph.D., an associate professor of neurobiology. These areas are involved in not only what we typically think of as vision, but also circadian rhythms and mood. When those cells' axons are severed, it's like pulling the vision plug right out of the outlet. It's thought that adult brain cells lack regenerative capacity partially due to the winding down of a growth-enhancing cascade of molecular interactions, the mTOR pathway. In the study, the researchers conducted treatments on adult mice which each had damage to the optic nerve in one eye. While retinal ganglion cells' axons had been destroyed, the frontline photoreceptor cells and their connections to the retinal ganglion cells remained intact. The mice were either treated using intensive exposure to high-contrast visual stimulation, consisting of constant images of a moving black-and-white grid, or biochemical manipulations, which activated the mTOR pathway. Some mice received both treatment methods. The researchers found that each individual method produced modest regrowth, but this was limited. But when both treatments were used together, they found a substantial amount of axonal growth which extended beyond the optic chasm and allowed them to move to the appropriate destinations of the brain. Essentially, the combination treatments provided a way for these features to regenerate and retrace their former roots. Somehow these retinal ganglion cells' axons retained their own GPS systems, Huberman said. They went to the right places, and they did not go to the wrong places. The researchers blocked the undamaged eye to encourage use of the damaged one, and performed numerous tests, including a simulation analogous to the approach of a bird of prey. Those with the combined treatment method moved to a safety zone in response, indicating they could see. While their vision had been partially restored, the researchers say that the mice failed tests which required finer visual capabilities.